Members of the House of Representatives laud the achievements of the Duterte administration during the past 50 days. They noted that the president is doing what he promised to the Filipino people. More of this report from Jervis Manahan. Congressmen lauded the victories of President Duterte in the first 50 days of his administration. One concrete proof, according to Congressman Carlo Nograles, is the all-time high of 91% trust rating he got in the most recent Pulse Asia survey. Aside from this, the president remains steadfast in his bid to realizing his campaign promises. I think the, 50, the first 50 days of the new president has been a very productive uh, and uh, excellent. Well, for the first 50 days of President Duterte, we've seen he's delivered on his promise of change. It's, a, it's, a, it's very apparent to um, You know, a lot of the campaign promises that he made during the campaign period, one by one, he's starting to deliver. He was even lauded by congressmen from other parties. For me, as an LP, who's a member of the majority, so far so good. So far so good that performance the president people. And particularly, it's a decent order. During the campaign, President Duterte promised to eradicate crime and drugs in a span of three to six months. One month after assuming presidency, he was able to identify a lot of those involved in drug trade, including public officials. Thousands of pushers and users have also surrendered to the government in the past 50 days. They responded very well to the president's anti-trust, anti-crime campaign. I think down to the Buruk level, uh, people on the ground are seeing the positive effects of that campaign. The president's allies say that more changes will come next year once the projects under the Duterte administration's proposed budget take place. However, the president wasn't spared from some criticism because congressmen, particularly Congressman Teddy Bagilat and Congressman Tom Villarin, said that his administration is too focused on the relentless campaign against crime and criminality, and other problems in transportation seem to be missed out. However, their fellow congressmen say that the admin is on it, and these problems are set to be solved in the coming days. For the PTV News, Jervis Manahan.